Well, it was huge. I think it was quite obvious with how we finished the game with bringing in Jarese in that particular situation. We, I thought it was a huge game for us. I thought it was a game we had to win. And um, tremendous job by Logan to you know do do what we asked him to do last year, and that is come in and you know pick us up, and he did that, and uh, you know finally got a big hit. What makes Logan so suited for situations like this? Well, he knows who he is, Steve. He, you know, he doesn't try to get, doesn't try to change anything. He just tries to make pitches, and that's why even before the game we talked about, you know, even though he hadn't pitched in a while, uh, you know, if for any length, how is how was he going to do it? I just don't think he gets out of his, uh, out of his plan. And, you know, once in a while, like all pitchers, you know, you'll, you make a mistake and you get hurt by it. But, you know, he, he just he goes out and tries to do the best he can and, and locate, locate any, every all his pitches. And, you can, and when he does that, he's effective. You guys have spoken pretty highly of Robles in spring training this year as a guy that maybe could become that late innings uh, type reliever. What did you see from him today that has shown you growth from where he was when he came well, last year? Well, first of all, I wasn't even going to use him today. You know, we before the game today when our pitchers throw, you know, our Ricky and Dan find a, they get a feel for how they're doing. And Addison needed a day, and, and, and actually Jimmy Henderson said he felt great today, even though we saw his velocity was down. He said he felt good, and, and we, we wanted to give Robles another day because of the 50 pitches the other night. But in that particular situation, that was just said, look, we've got to bring this guy in. And he just sucked it up and went in there and, and you know, got two big, huge strikeouts for us. I mean, Henderson's a guy coming off the shoulder thing, and he threw, I think, 34 pitches the night before. So obviously it's not an easy situation for you, but why go that direction considering? Well, I just told you. I said before the game he felt great. Um, you know, when Addison said, look, I can't go, we weren't going to use Robles, we had to go to somebody right there. Uh, it wasn't going to be Montero because he was going to save us if we went extra innings. We had to have some length, in, in, you know, that guy can pick you up and give you some innings. So we were out of options, either that or Bastardo uh, against those guys. And uh, we went with Jim and uh, obviously, you know, didn't work out the way we wanted. Are you concerned about that velocity drop? It's like 90, well, 91 Well, again, right now. one of the things we saw, one of the things we've talked about, and again, you're right, he threw 35 pitches last night, but one of the things we, we talked about in spring training is can he bounce back? And... You know, tonight, I would have to say, even though probably more pitches than we cared for last night, we'd have to say we'll have to be careful with him back to back. You think if you came into today five and two instead of two and five, you would have thought about using Jarees in the oh, five outs? Oh, I would outside? never have done it. Never have done it. I would, he, wouldn't have, he would have pitched the ninth inning and the ninth inning only. Did you have to ask him about that? Because he'd pitched two nights before. Any hesitation about that, even though? You, you felt like you did need the game? I'm sorry, which we're, one? We're familiar. He had pitched it to him. Any hesitation, even though you felt like you needed the game? I talked to him before the game, John, and said, listen, you know, we may need some outside tonight. He said, listen, I may not feel good, but my arm feels great. So, and you saw right at the end. I mean, he, you know, reached back and got a little extra. And again, we, we can sit there and say, you know, I, I think one of the things that, again, I've seen in the past is, you know, guys, even though they, they, after a year like he had the year before, where he threw a lot of innings and, and threw in a lot of games, you know, you got to get him in. You got to you got to use him for the arm to come back. You got to use him. They just can't sit and rest. Um, you know, if we need to, we'll give him two days in a row off. But you know, this was a game we had to have. We couldn't sacrifice another game. And you know, we, I felt this was something we we had to win this game to get ourselves back going again. And um, and he was the guy. Terry, a couple of questions on Cespedes first. How did, how did you feel when he went into the stands in terms of him possibly being hurt? Well, I just to ask him on that on that front. I just asked him. He hit his the, above his knee on one of the one of the uh, seats, um, you know, stinger. But and when he when he finally got moved around, he was okay. Do, do you think that that he feels the weight to carry the offense because of what he did last year and you know being the highest paid guy in the team? Do you think he's pressing a little bit again you know I don't know I don't know if he is but I think what you just said I think there's no question that um, he's aware of the expectations of him on this team you know and you look at the other clubs when he was in Detroit they had Miggy you know he was just another one of the pieces with the Victor on our team he's 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 huge so he might he might feel a little extra pressure to, to produce and um, but I'll tell you, he's been great as far as any time I've asked him to, to 
I mean, switch positions or do something, he's done it. And I think as we get into this, you know, I think he's going to still put up big numbers. But we, we've got to give him some help. We just, we can't, you know, I've said it many, forever in my years in the game, you can't, one guy, you can't ride one guy. You got to ride, you got to ride the whole team and we got to get these other guys going. Terry, when you see Flores play that way defensively at first base in his first major league game there, how much more comfort does that give you with your ability to just throw him in there whenever you need? Yeah, it means a lot. It means a lot. It's, it's nice to have a guy you can have some flexibility with and have some, you know, who can bounce around in the infield and you don't really miss a beat. So uh, it was a good game for Flo. And, and, and as we know, Steve, you know, we know we think he's going to hit. You know, it's all about playing. You know, and, and we ask these young guys to come off the bench and pinch hit, and it's just something they haven't done. And, and it's asking them to do something they're not familiar with. And uh, But when you get them in there, they just seem like they're more comfortable and they put better swings on the ball. Terry, I'm, I'm curious why in mid-April, so early, you had identified this as a game you had to win. Is it something you've been seeing, or are you worried about the players' confidence in themselves? I mean, why today? Bob, I'm not worried about the confidence. I'm worried about... Um, the perception is that there's no energy here, which is completely not true. Um, you know, that we're not prepared, that we're not, you know, we're, we're overconfident or we're not taking things seriously. I heard that last night and it, it made me sick to my stomach. The people actually think that, that, that this team that accomplished what they did last year would have any semblance of that type of makeup. So I said, you know what, we got to win this game today. We got to show people we mean business here. And that's why I did what I did with Jarese today. And okay, if I have to use him, give him a couple of days off, I'll do it. But people understand, better understand, we, we come out every night to win. We may not be hitting, I, I, that's part of the game. But we care, and we're trying, and we're going to get this going. We've still got outstanding pitching, um, but I thought we had to win today. Mike? Terry, uh, I mean, you're pretty frank about all this, and it seems clear that you wanted to send a message to various precincts. Do you have to balance that with the possibility that the message you might send subtly is, you know, it's April 13th and, it, you know, we're, we're playing this like it's a playoff game almost? Well, Mike, uh, the one thing I will tell you that we, that we do in there, and that is we don't panic. Okay? We don't show any panic. But I also want them to know, hey, we're trying to win here. You know, I'm just not running everybody out there and, and oh, we've got to keep this guy rest. We gotta, that's why I played David today. You know, we, we made a move last night because to, to, to make sure we have enough pitching. And I asked my third baseman, who everybody, you know, a lot of people think he needs days off after night games, um, when we have a day game, to have a day off. He came in this morning, he said, I'm in there. Because we really didn't have any other options except playing Flo and, and playing Lucas. And it just shows you that they want to win. And I think that's, that was a message that has to be said, is that, look, we're not sitting back just you know, on our laurels. We, we come out ready to, and again, it also helps, believe me, that we have a day off tomorrow. That's big. You know, a lot of this wouldn't have occurred had we had to play tomorrow, because we would have been out of pitching completely. But, uh, you know, I just thought, look, we had to send a message to leave this homestand, our opening homestand, that, you know, we can, we can win some games. Terry, that message you heard last night, is that just, you listening to this on the radio on the way home, or are you seeing this in the paper, like what? Yeah, because you're going to hear all this. You know, stuff, I'm not deaf here, and I'm so. not blind. You know, I listen. I, I see how people are reacting. I hear what's going on. Uh, so, you know, I'm not a lot of managers. You know, I, I've told you guys in the past. I read your stuff. I read the stuff, and I and I and I read between the lines and what's being said. And I want you to understand something. We this this team is as dedicated this year as it was last year. We've gotten off to a slow start. It happens. It happens. It's part of the game. There's a lot of teams that got up to get up to great starts that falter. There's teams that get up to slow starts that have huge second halves and run away with stuff. I just thought it was important today for our fan base to stay excited. And, and so I thought today was a game we should win. A couple more, Tony. Terry, with everything you just said, I mean, does any of that seem at all like a risk to you just considering Familia, for example, threw a lot last year. Henderson has had two shoulder surgeries, as Mark said. Does any of that seem like a risk that you took in terms of having this game? Well, Told me every night we go out in the field we take a risk, you know, uh, I, you know we we do it we do it with every every guy we got on the team we, um, but you know what we ask our players and I've told you guys in the past once in a while you got to trust your players. Jim Henderson said I feel good I feel good today, Addison didn't, you know, uh, 
Hansel, we told him the other day we're going to try to give him two days off. We just couldn't. So, yeah. But you know what? Down the road in, in the middle of summer, you know, when they, everybody starts to get a little bit more fatigued. And, again, you guys know. I mean, looking to, I looked at the scoreboard today. we got guys that have only pitched three or four innings. They should be okay. We didn't wear them down in spring training. They're okay. Now, if they need an extra day, they'll get an extra day. But, uh, you know, again, once again, we're talking about something now that's going to be written up tomorrow. Like, you know, we're on, we're on the cutting edge here. We're on the walking that razor blade. And we're not. We just wanted to win today. We got a day off tomorrow. We got a day to rest. We'll be okay. You guys love the drama. I don't love drama. I, I, you know, I just worry about winning games.